This program is sponsored by Bet's Gold Coin. Join us for family friendly dining. Hello there, my name is Bob Borchard coming to you from Old Town Mariposa in the historic Mariposa Hotel in our studios here in uh, 3MC Studios. And I have with me today, uh, let's see, uh, Mr. Grizzly. Okay, I'll take that. Trace DeSandres, co-athletic director of Mariposa County High School. Bob's pr pleasure to be here. Thank you for uh, thank you for having me back. It's really nice to be here. Well, it's, it's nice having you here, Trace. Uh, there's a couple of people who have missed your previous show, so maybe you could give us a quick rundown about who you are and how you got here. Okay. Um, as you said, I'm I am the co-athletic director. I also teach and coach at Mariposa County High School. I, uh, I teach freshmen, uh, it's called Grizzly University, it's a combination of things, and I coach basketball, um, potentially baseball again this year, and uh, I'm a, a former graduate, alumni, and uh, this is, I believe this is my 18th or 19th year back teaching at Mariposa County High School. Best decision I ever made. Mm. Well, uh, as a hometown boy. Yes, sir. You know a little bit about Grizzly Spirit. Yes, sir. Uh, I uh, yeah. I understand that uh, that you bleed green and gold. Well, I sure like to think so. I uh, <laughs> I, I, I I love I've, MCHS and I've seen some uh, pep talk videos that you've done. Uh, you're uh, you're quite a showman. Well, that's I think that's nice of you to say, but uh, it, 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 it is a nice. It's a big compliment on my part. Yeah, um, Mariposa High, Mariposa County. This community is very near and dear to my heart it is you know there's something uh, that's uh, well you know in in Texas you know they talk about Friday night lights and, and high school spirits and we've seen some some Valley teams that have gotten some uh, some great uh, movie credits recently but right. you know Mariposa has uh, got a community spirit uh, a spirit of the high school that is, that is pretty unique I've never been around anything quite like it uh, I would agree I, w I would agree. I think that uh, we have we have tremendous commitment from our kids. We have tremendous support from this community, parents, community members, a and something that I don't think we've talked about is, uh, you know, Mariposa County High School being the only um, comprehensive high school in Mariposa County. Uh, we have kids that get on a bus uh, from Yosemite Valley or Coulterville, Don Pedro, uh, Cathays Valley, all over the county and many of these kids just to just to start their school day they have to ride sometimes in excess of an hour and 15, hour and a half just to get to school and uh, when you think about extracurricular activities, football, baseball, whatever, band, court, whatever, uh, those kids oftentimes get up before it's light and they have to stay after school, commit to that, and uh, oftentimes they don't get home until after it's dark, which is an amazing thing. It's an amazing commitment with our young people in this community. You know, that's something you and I have talked about a little bit. Maybe we ought to bounce it around with our friends out here. Uh, you know, our athletic program in Mariposa County has turned out some some stellar performers, and I'm not talking about athletic performances. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about life performances. Uh, there's a young man that graduated out of your program uh, who managed to make his way through West Point. Yes. And this past weekend, he graduated from Ranger School. Um, I'm talking about James Reichel, of yes, course. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but James is is uh, is not unlike a lot of other young people who come out of our athletic programs who have done uh, a, an amazing job out there in the real world. Right. And uh, that part of it is the commitment that they have to make to athletic programs. You know, the, uh, the extracurricular uh, commitment, uh, this heart that, that uh, these young people develop. I think that's, there's a direct correlation with that with with the commitment that they that they have to uh, to have to be successful at academics and the extracurricular things, I, I think that transfers over later on at the next level, whether that be college or in the uh, in the job market. Yeah, I, I think of I, I'm 
three people offhand. You know, our Congressman Radonovich, he was an athlete. Um, he, he will tell you uh, that, you know, the, the extracurricular things gave him the confidence to go on and do the things he does. Our, our, our Judge Walton, John Oswald. John Oswald was in Mr. Hebron's um, multimedia class. Uh, so, you know, not only was he learning a skill that that he is is doing right now, he's the video coordinator for the Stanford football team and had a chance to move up to the San Francisco 49ers. And I just think all of the things that he he received at Mariposa, he went through, uh, is responsible for where he is right now. Not to mention uh, two NFL stars that we have. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> in yep. our alumni roster. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Logan Mankins. And Cody Wickman. Cody Wickman. And, and a lot of people don't realize that we had a third, Stephen Spock, who was here as a freshman, sophomore, and then his family moved to Clovis. But he was a former Grizzly who was in the NFL for a few years, too. So that's pretty amazing. So um, last year we had a Stellia program. We did. It was the 100th year anniversary of the high school, and uh, and uh, our, our uh, athletic program shined. It, it did. Uh, the 100th the year was special. It was uh, to, to see that many people back for a homecoming game and the build up for that. And, you know, 11, 11 varsity teams collecting, uh, you know, six varsity championships and a section championship. That's pretty tough to, to replicate. We do have very high expectations this year. We're, uh, the football program lost a ton of kids, but uh, you know the coaches are so so organized and so dedicated. Uh, we think that there's a very good chance they could uh, duplicate what they did last year, and uh, it, I think it'll continue in all the other sports. I think we'll compete in most other sports for Southern and Section championships. Well, we will be there. That's and and and, uh, and the folks in the valley, and of course, I love to share my story about uh, the coach down in the valley who told me that, uh, that it was in the water. Mm -hmm. That he always told uh, his teams that when they're up in Mariposa uh, to fill up their water jugs and bring it home and drink a lot of water while you're up here because those boys and girls out there are are real athletes and it must be in the water. Well, that's a now, that's a great story. Now you and I know that it's a coaching staff. Yes. But uh, but I like that I like to promote that myth. We've been selling a little water up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. What a great yeah, idea. enterprise. <laughs> yeah. At yeah. any rate, um, I guess uh, anything you want to talk a little bit about? We have a, a football program. I noticed the boys and girls are out there uh, getting ready. Yes, they are. We, our opening game is going to be when? Well, we open on the road. In fact, our first two weeks are on the road. We're at Somerville, September third. And we're at Minaret September 11th, and then we come back to the Gold Bowl, incidentally. Um, Putting back at, out of the fairgrounds. And we're back at, at the fairgrounds, uh, and we open at home on September 18th against Livingston. Livingston? Yeah, so uh, love to be on campus. It's unfortunate that we're not. Uh, we're going to try to, at some point, get back there, but for the time being, we're going to be at the fairgrounds at the Gold Bowl. Well, you know, um, our young men and women uh, are going to play their hearts out, yes. regardless of the facilities that we, we provide them, and uh, and I and I'm really proud of what you guys do, oh, and thanks. and just there's a you have a, a, a co uh, director. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could talk a little bit about her briefly. Well, it's unfortunate that she hasn't been on because she's really the brains of the operation. I'm just I've been told that. That's the absolute truth. <laughs> and uh, Debbie Leonard, she's uh, uh, alumni, uh, you know, former former Grizzly student and uh, you know, her heart is in Mariposa and she's the volleyball coach. She's an amazing volleyball coach. She's won nine or ten Southern League championships and her teams are always uh, well prepared and ready to go and she's right in the middle of uh, you know start of her season and uh, she's just uh, she's grizzly and she's a good one so yeah well you need to talk to her about getting with us one of these days yes I'll, I'll do that and uh, and the, uh, the other thing you've got uh, a pretty amazing coaching staff and, and I, I think a lot of people don't realize that, but uh, that's, there's a lot of community volunteerism oh. involved in our uh, athletic program. 
Well, Bob, there was a time where most of your coaches, certainly your head coaches, were on-campus coaches. And we just don't see that anymore. Very few teachers are, are coaches, and there, there's a lot of reasons for that. It's, uh, you know, the expectations in the, in the classrooms make it very difficult to, to teach and coach. We have an amazing, an amazing community uh, in terms of people stepping up and becoming head coaches, assistant coaches, it, it, every year it just absolutely. And these are championship teams. Yes, yes. You know, you, you start with Coach Oliphant, the varsity football coach. Uh, his organizational skills, his ability to to reach kids, con connect with kids, and the people that he has surrounded himself with, it's a, it's Coach amazing. Oliphant works for the county, is just so he has a day job. Yes, he does. So he works all day. You know, he's a probation. Uh, second in command and probate, and then he he gets off and he comes and spends four or five hours coaching our kids. And Pretty amazing. And you and I both know that it isn't just four or five hours oh, coaching no. our kids. I mean, this is a, a basically a, a life-spanning commitment. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Oh, I just wanted to get that in there. But this is uh, for folks out there. You know, uh, this isn't the NFL. We don't have a million-dollar coaching no. staff. This is uh, no. this is all coming from our town, and these folks are doing an amazing job putting our young people onto a uh, onto a state stage yes. with respect to uh, the quality of the athletic program. Quality people doing high-level work. Great coaching. I'm really proud of it. Well, sure appreciate that. Sure appreciate the time that you give us. Well. I just want to remind people that we do have a, a, a schedule coming up. We're, we're starting our football season in September. Yep. And uh, uh, well, there, there's a bunch of names that you named, and I guarantee you they'll be in the stands. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we'll, we'll be out there rooting for you. We look forward to it, Bob. Okay. Thank you so much. And for you folks out there, um, thanks for joining us. And. Uh, be seeing you again soon here at the Old Town Mariposa Show.